honestly working at lululemon has been a blast it's been really great a lot of friendships that i felt like could never come to an end came to an end pretty big news in my life recently i was chosen for creator camp you know how it's really easy to look at the lives of people who you admire and just kind of think wow i wish i was like that maybe if i made one small change in my life maybe if i was more hard working maybe if i was prettier maybe if i was luckier i would be like that it's just dawned on me that no amount of that kind of wishful thinking is going to make anything happen in my life i'm so used to thinking that with youtube looking at other youtubers and thinking wow they have all of these things that i don't have and that's why they have made it on youtube and i haven't at the end of the day there's really so many reasons that i can control and that i cannot control that dictate whether or not i become a youtuber but the worst thing i think is just pitting myself against other people constantly and using other people's successes to tell me to kind of prove to myself that oh this is why i'm not successful yet this is why i haven't achieved what i wanted to achieve yet i just feel like it's such an unproductive way to to get myself where i want to be I used to get caught up in the game of comparison at uni as well. Like I used to often look at other people and think about the way that they made contributions in class or looked at the way that they wrote their essays um, or the efficiency with which they worked and just pitted myself against them and thought, wow, they're so much better than me in all of these ways. And as soon as I got into that way of thinking, I found that it actually motivated me less to, to do better because I was in this mindset that my own abilities were fixed and everybody else who was better than me was just innately better than me. But it just really didn't help me at all. And I think I really slowed myself down and honestly, at the end of the day, made myself feel really bad about myself. Whatever I did, I was kind of fighting a losing battle. And this mindset stuck with me for much of my university journey. At the end, I think I just came to the conclusion that I just had to give my best effort and my best effort was all that I could do. I couldn't control how innately intelligent I was. I couldn't control how I was gonna do in my exams. I think the only thing I could control for myself was, oh, am I gonna do my best? And so I think I would just really like to apply that mindset into my current life because I think I've kind of hit a bit of a rut where I've started looking at people around me, people with stable jobs and maybe people who have found success is doing kind of their own thing, maybe being YouTubers, being entrepreneurs, and I've just kind of assigned myself to this little corner and this little rut and just like thinking, I don't, there's nothing I can do about it. But no, there's, I think there's so much that is within my power to do every single day. I think I can wake up and think, right, I'm going to make a video today. I can wake up and be like, I'm going to go and reach out to somebody who is in a position that I want to be in in a few years. I think there's so many things that I can do that I wish I didn't constantly resign to the reality or what I assume is my the reality of my own life because it's really not. Something else that I realized since coming out of uni is that a lot of friendships that I felt like could never come to an end came to an end. I think a lot of it is that I've moved around a lot in the years after uni. I'm, immediately after uni, I moved to Paris and lost touch with a lot of people who are based in the UK. And a lot of my housemates at university kind of continued to be friends with each other. And I kind of just fell out of touch with them. Um, but a lot of my other close friends kind of scattered around the world. And a lot of them to this day, I still haven't seen. But recently, one of my really good friends from uni, her name is Kath. She came to Hong Kong for a work trip that lasts six months. And the chance, like what even are the chances of her living in the same neighborhood as me, but we're living so close to each other now and to see each other every week. And it's kind of added so much hope and joy back into my life and in general hope for university friendships being rekindled in later life. 
the world of postgraduate friendships are not as bright as I would like and really a lot of the friends that I've made in my life are no longer physically close to me. A lot of my Paris friends are still in Paris, my uni friends are in the UK, but I also think that this gives me a very very deep appreciation for my home friends, my friends from Hong Kong, because coming back and feeling that level of familiarity with the people that I am close to, I'm definitely not taking that for granted. But I think in the three years after leaving uni, I think I realized how important it is to be physically close to the people that I'm close with because I'm not a person who can, who's really that good at maintaining distance friendships. My friend Jade says that that requires a lot of sustained effort, a lot of intentionality, a lot of communication of being on the same page. Honestly, I'm working on that. I don't really have that. It makes me a little bit anxious to maintain contact with my friends, especially if it requires a lot of calling. I don't know, it makes me very nervous. So I think that's something that I've actively been working on, scheduling calls with my friends, even if it makes me nervous, because I think if not, the landscape of friendships, especially once you know, I've, once you've left the schooling community and once I'm no longer in a city that's filled with a lot of other friends who are also living their independent lives, it just becomes difficult to maintain a web of friendships. So that's something that I've learned, that friendships require a lot of intentionality. I don't know if anybody else can relate, but getting a job after graduation is a freaking nightmare. Since May, I've been applying to a bunch of different jobs and no jobs have really come through. And I think a lot of me is really, I don't know, I think working so hard for the degree that I did get and then being faced with a post-COVID job world and a not booming economy has just made looking for a job very, very difficult. And I think this is really prime time for me to just, you know, take a leap and do something like go all in with YouTube or um, like go traveling or start a business. Or just do something crazy, but my, my crazy thing has just been working for Lululemon and honestly, working at Lululemon has been a blast. It's been really great experience. I did um, one month of full time, so that one month honestly killed me. It was so freaking tiring and I think it genuinely, this job experience will forever have changed me as a person because the way people treat you in this kind of job, I, I don't know, it matters to me so much when somebody treats me with respect and I would just, I think, always, always, forever, forever treat people who work in service jobs with respect. Having worked so hard for this degree and coming out and there being no jobs is really discouraging and I know a lot of my friends actually leave university and think of this. I was speaking to my friend Jack about this. He applied to loads and loads of jobs after graduating and then actually eventually his, his book tube took off completely he used to be a study tuber and then his book tube completely exploded and now this is what he does for a living and i'm just like where is my book tube i wonder whether something like that exists out there for me and i think all of these musings are at times stressful at times inspiring but i just kind of feel like i'm sitting here waiting for something to happen and i don't think anything's gonna happen unless i go out on them make make it happen you know <sighs> Pretty big news in my life recently. I was chosen for Creator Camp, which is a community of online creators. Um, and it was, it's a group started by a few creators who really inspire me. A guy called Simon, a guy called Max, and a guy called Chris. And Max and Simon are both creators whose videos I love. Their style inspires me a lot. And they're all kind of college age students as well. And yeah, I applied for their creator camp, which is just this camp full of different aspiring digital and just creative people and I got picked out of like a hundred applications. I think they only had five spots for people who weren't referred by other creators and I was picked. 
and honestly, I was I'm just overjoyed by that. Their creator camp I think is coming soon, and I'm gonna find a way to fly myself out there and go because I really think that it's the thing that I need, like a, a community of people who are doing something so crazy, and it's just very untraditional right this career path and so I think it would just be good to have people around me who are doing that as well because I think if I really allowed myself to dream big becoming a creator would be the top of that list and so much of what has held me back so far has been my fear of not succeeding and my own self-doubt um, that you know I don't want it to hold me back anymore if anything, I might look back on uni and think, wow, I'm so glad that uni was the platform through which I was springboarded into doing YouTube. But I think I'll look back one day on university and think, wow, there must be a reason why I filmed and vlogged and wanted to hoard every single memory. And it's because I always wanted to make films for a living. Who knows? I know that so often I'm feeling self-conscious about YouTube, but honestly, I just want to thank you guys if you guys have been watching for however long. It really means the world to me that you are here watching my videos, and I just want to say thank you for being here. Thank you if you've ever commented, if you've ever liked, if you've ever just watched and enjoyed. That means the world to me, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to continue doing this for a long, 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 long time. So with that said, I will see you in the next video, and I'm going to try and figure out what I'm doing with this YouTube channel. <laughs> Too soon.